Okay, I started filming after I had already lunged Andy in both directions. Just because it's kind of repetitive, we do much of the same work each time before getting on. I just want to check in with him. Here you can see um, how he has remembered our teachings of um, standing at the mounting block for me to get on. And he parked himself beautifully, which was very nice. Um, he's no longer afraid of me putting my foot in the stirrup. And then I just, just kind of want to hang out there. Um, this is just our fourth time under saddle, so I just really want to make sure that he's okay with me. So I just keep my leg on one side for a few steps. And once he stops, then I get on. And then we proceed forward. And he's a good boy. And at first, he is a little tense and a little nervous um, for a couple minutes at the beginning of our ride. Um, but then he relaxes and settles down a little bit. He still plays with a bit quite a bit and is still checking in with my legs on him. I'm um, reaching around, smelling my foot, and that's okay. He's still learning. Here, Andy um, likes to stop and then wants to go backwards and is still kind of confused of what I'm asking him to do. I just want to do some figure eights and work on letting him feel pressure as a bit and then also um correlating the clucking for forward movement with a little bit of leg pressure um at the same time In the beginning, trying to get those married, those two cues, or aids, married that cue him forward, forward movement. Um, and here he's just a little bit stuck. I'm asking with leg pressure and clucking, so he's not quite sure. Um, and again, reaching around, smelling my, my leg. So I stick with it, just like on the ground. Asking him for forward movement with a cluck and very light leg pressure until he moves forward. There. And I instantly relieve the pressure. Again, just practicing our figure eights and using very light um, mouth contact with the bit and cueing that first with the leg and then with light contact in the bit. I'd rather he learn to turn off of leg than using my hands at all. He's doing a very good job. Nice and relaxed.
there I work on his woe with my seat first and then light pressure on the bit. And he responded very well. I'm very happy with that. Again, checking in with his woe. Did very well. So here I am practicing posting on him at a walk so that he gets to feel the displacement of weight in the saddle. And he really doesn't care much. The first night I did this, um, he did tense up a little bit and stopped. But now he really doesn't mind it and does very well.
Here I have Grace following behind me and encouraging to go forward with the carriage whip, just smacking it on the ground to pick up a trot for the first time. That feels a little bit funny to him, displacement of weight, but he does it and does well. He doesn't throw a fit or anything. And then he wanted to go over the Cavaletti. He's been wanting to all evening, so I just let him. And it was very um, uncoordinated, <laughs> but it was a cute attempt. I'm actually really happy with um, his first time trotting and it's typical for them to trot a little bit and then stop actually he did it a few times but my phone died um, but they're just getting used to and processing the feeling and the movement of weight on their back and he handled it very well I was very happy with him That was out of screen, out of frame a little bit, but when he picked up the trot in that direction, he was a little bit upset with Grace encouraging him to go and um, pulled a little bit of a wing ding and tried to, tried to buck a little bit, but it wasn't anything big. It was pretty, pretty little and he came right back to business, so I was, I was proud of him. He was good. And right here is about the end of the coverage of trotting because my phone died.